All right, so I'm back. I know y'all thought I, he probably thought I had COVID or something. It's been so long. I'm sorry. I've just been doing a lot. So we are in this book. And if it's not right side up to you, it's okay, because inside it doesn't matter. So um, yeah, I've just finished sewing masks for a wedding, altering a dress. Um, all kinds of stuff. Anyway, I finally got caught up to where y'all should be, kind of, sort of-ish. So, I did introduce blue, and I have for the lighter blue, and these are still the um, Polychromos by Faber-Castell. So, let's see. My eyes aren't even working. Hang on a sec. This is number 146 sky blue then I have number 144 cobalt blue greenish yep and then I also grabbed 157 dark indigo Cadmium Yellow, 107. One seventy-five, or is that a three? Olive Green Yellowish. I hope my phone's not moving the camera. Let me get you in and see if it keeps moving or not. And then 170 May Green. I'm going to have to go get another May Green at some point from Azel Art if they still sell them individually. Love that color. All right. So anyway, and I get the idea that the camera is moving. So let's get with this before it falls off. <sighs> so I'm not sure where you are. I took my lighter of the blues and just went in all of these, okay? Just did them regular. And then I came up through this little area. Yeah, we started this piece like months ago. No, we started a few weeks ago. And actually, I should only be coming up so far. That's the lighter of the blue. This is the medium blue. And we're coloring just like before where we go in layers. Okay. And then in my darker blue, I'm going to come in and do just the tip. This is that indigo. Yeah, so I've been sewing masks for weddings, and then all my craft shows for this year got canceled. So I've decided to go online and just start marking everything down and selling it from my home. So it's been like revolving door as people come in and shop with masks on during a particular time slot. But anyway, yeah, no, my eyes are just tired. So I'm going to let you come back and pick what color for here. I did grab that yellow. Okay, I'm really afraid the phone is fixing to just fall. It's clipped onto a light, and then it's got duct tape around it. One of these days, maybe I'll actually get a, a phone stand that's that's what it's used for and it can just tripod over top because when I use this that's on the mount it just it doesn't ever want to stay right so anyway moving on then so then I did that in the yellow so pick whatever color you want for there it's not gonna matter I'm gonna let you pick for here and then as we're coming on down, let's see, a lot of the blue, and you'll see the three blues. So 
so the lighter shade is going to come in the middle. All right. And then I do it again here in the middle. All right. And it's going to be like that all the way around. Also, I, well, let's not do that yet. So then the next shade comes here. And the thing about coloring with two or three shades and blending with your lightest is if you don't get all of the stuff covered the first time through, you'll get it covered, all that white, the tooth and the paper, then this is the darkest, you will get it covered by the time you blend with your lightest shade. And again, I'm not using a colorless blender. I'm using the lightest shade that I'm coloring with. Okay, so now back in with that lightest shade, and I'll just blend all that. All right, then for this section, I do it darker up in this point and down in this point. Is that right? Now I gotta stop and look. Okay, let's go over here and look. So this is lighter. And then the outside edge here is a little bit lighter. Yeah, and it doesn't matter so much what you do as long as you keep it the same all the way around. That's why generally when people do mandalas, they will take off in one section and do that section all the way around before going to the next one. That was the medium. And then I'll move to the light. Or the darker, I'm sorry, the darker. I do want to tell you, um, I bought one of those sewing machine lights. It's a strip LED that's, um, I can't even talk and think of the color at the same time tonight. This is horrible. Um, USB. And it goes on your sewing machine, but I think I'm going to buy another one and actually put it on my headboard for reading in the evening. Not that I don't just fall off to sleep these days. Because I do. Okay, then back to the blue again. I did the tips in the lightest. And I just went ahead and did those. I left the middle. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. And again, this is the last session for this picture. So anything that's not colored in my medium, you're going to be on your own. You just pick your own colors. Yeah, because at this point, you know, it's about you being able to, to pick and go and finish things up on your own. You don't always have to to copy all of it. And then the dark. Then I'm going to come back in with my lightest shade and blend it all from the light end down. You see how that all just smooths out though? So that's all good. All right, so this is done. I'm trying to look at one I had already finished. So if we go over and look at this one. So we've done the yellow. The only thing we didn't do was that little bit, the middle, the dots. And then I told you that, that, oh, this green. Let's go back and grab our two greens. So the thing I did here in this center section was the lighter shade here 
and then my darker shade coming down. And it seems like there was something else that I had missed from last time, and now I'm not remembering what it was. So I'm going to leave this here for just a bit and let you look and see if you've got all the color choices down so that if there is something that was missed, you can go back and catch it. Um, let's see, here's the colors we used in the reds last time. My lightest shade. And you can go back and find those videos if you missed it. But the lightest shade, so I don't know if this was something that I added or if I personally just missed and didn't do it. So there's that. Yeah, I'm um, closing out all my painted goods, or that's the plan right now for my business. So if you are on Facebook and you go to one stroke with Pam. Look for me on Facebook. Then you'll see a lot of stuff. And I've got paintings for as low as like five bucks. Yeah, just trying to move stuff. Just trying to get it moved out. So there's that. I left. I need to do that one yet, but that's okay. Yeah, I think that's it, y'all. So from here, just go ahead and work on your own. Um, I do have a question, and you can leave a response down in the comments. I started playing with watercolor pencils. They're the ink tints. If I can grab one out. Here we go. So, there's several ways of using them. I am not a watercolorist, but I've been playing with these. So I'm just wondering if there's any interest in that. And then I also bought a new book. It was not sent to me for review or anything. But I want to show it to you real quick. And if this is sideways, I'm sorry. But I've got almost everything that she's published. I've got the entire um, fairy tale series. So I saw this and wanted to get it just real quickly. The paper is pretty good. And um, yeah, just really like it. So that's one of my newest books that I will be going into soon. And uh, just wondering if there was any want to see me play with the ink tense pencils and then I also this is also with the ink tents I also grabbed some new um, markers that I'm gonna do lettering with and I thought I'd do a review on those pretty soon for you so but for today that's it so let me put this back out here again let y'all have a look see at it and just um, finish it up. You're going to be able to finish it up. You've got all the colors so the only thing I wouldn't do is I wouldn't put red right here because it's right here. I wouldn't put blue or yellow right there because it's right there. But you could do the purple because it looks like an extension of the purple. See what I'm saying? So just um, pull your pencils go ahead and finish this one off and it's a repeating pattern so if you're part of Coloring Books Keep It Clean, this goes in the challenge album for August. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've finished one of the challenges. But um, another reason for getting out of my painting quite so much as I have been in the past, I want to get back to doing some more fun stuff for me. So, all right. So at the top and then over to the side, I think it says more or something. Anyway, somewhere there's a link where you can donate if you want to. 
and as I get donations and stuff it will allow me to get new pencils or markers to review like the ones I'm going to be reviewing the uh, brush tips and um, things like that but anyway all right thanks for watching talk to you soon I hope bye